Hi, I'm Natalie, and today we're gonna make a vanilla sponge cake. And I have referenced it in so many different recipes, like the Royal Charlotte cake, or the Charlotte cake, or the base for a tiramisu. And I have never shown you really how to make a vanilla sponge cake alone in one video. And I gotta rectify it. So today it's just vanilla sponge cake. No filling, no topic, just the basic principles how to make this cake. And this sponge cake is so fluffy that it will not only outshine its glutinous cousins, but will fool anyone to think it's the real deal. I mean, what is a vanilla sponge cake? It's, it's a bit spongy, I mean, the name kind of gives it away, but what makes it spongy? Now, the reason why it is so spongy is the stiffened egg whites and a little bit of the baking powder. And probably the sponge cake and the chiffon cakes are the only cakes which use egg whites as leaveners. Leaveners? Leaveners. Leaveners. Anyway, the egg whites is the secret to that. There is no reason why a gluten-free sponge cake needs to be dry, brick-like or anything like that. It should be like its glutinous cousins, a very soft cake melting in your mouth, having maybe a little bit of a buttery aftertaste. That's it. So let's get started on it. The most basic thing is always you have to separate the egg whites and the egg yolks from each other. And we're gonna separate six eggs. I have now my six egg yolks and egg whites separated from each other. And there are different techniques how to do it. And in my chocolate sponge cake, I'm showing you the different ways how you can do it. I'm gonna measure 170 grams of white sugar. That's a little bit too much. And I'm gonna add my egg yolks to the sugar. To make any kind of sponge cake, you have to beat the egg yolk and the sugar over a hot water bath until it becomes very foamy. And to start my water bath, I'm gonna pour about two, three centimeters or one to two inches of water into a pot and get it to a boiling point. What I want to really do is create a lot of steam. What I want to be careful about is that I don't submerge my bowl with the egg yolk and the sugar into the water of the pot. What I really want is just the steam to warm up the bottom of the pot. You can certainly use a glass bowl or a metal bowl because they're really great conductor for heat. Plastic bowls, eh, I would be a bit cautious about because you might actually melt them or something like that. One tool you definitely need to make a sponge cake is a handheld mixer. And it can be a cheap one. You don't have to spend and buy like a 50 or 60 US dollar one. You can really get away with the cheapest one. The nice thing to have though is to have a whisk attachment. My water is boiling now and I'm gonna put my glass bowl with the egg yolk and the sugar on the top of it and slowly start whisking it. Until the egg yolk and the sugar become nice and foamy. I need now to prepare the butter and the oil for the sponge cake, which keeps the cake nice and moist. In this case, I want to make it dairy free, so I'm going to use a vegan substitute instead. And I'm going to measure 45 grams of vegan substitute. I'm going to quick melt it in the microwave because it's much faster. In our microwave, it probably takes like 30, 40 seconds. But you want to check certainly with your own microwave with it. What I like to do is cover it to avoid that the melted vegan substitute splatters all over my microwave and makes it all dirty and so on. I'm going to add now 45 grams of oil. I need also to measure now 150 grams from my pre-mixed vanilla sponge cake gluten-free flour combination and I listed the ingredients below. Before I measure the 150 grams, I do want to quick steer up the different flours to make sure that they are still well combined since different flours have a different level of density and may sink more to the bottom. The last thing I have to prep before I can put my sponge cake together is I have to beat my egg white stiff. And I like to do that with my stand mixer because that's much easier. I'm going to pour my egg whites to it and start beating the egg whites until it has reached the stiff peak. And I'm going to continue now with my egg yolk and sugar mixture. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the oil on the butter. I'm going to add the egg white. And what is still missing is the flour, but because the egg white is a, a bit messy right now, I'm gonna start folding it already under. And I'm gonna use a strainer or one of those flour mill things to add the flour. 
This is getting messy in the small bowl. I think I need to transfer it to a bigger bowl. There's no harm done in transferring from one bowl to another bowl. And I needed a bigger bowl because I'm actually making one and a half recipe. And, but I listed below the ingredients for one recipe. Fold under the flour. It's much easier in a bigger bowl. You can see now how the batter is slowly collapsing because of the weight of the flour and because I'm folding it under, pushing air out of the batter again. And the last thing you have to do with a vanilla sponge cake is pretty much add one teaspoon to one tablespoon of vanilla extract. It also depends how intense your vanilla extract is. What I would do is I normally start with one teaspoon and then I increase depending on the flavor I want. In this case, I want it to be very vanilla, so I'm gonna use one tablespoon. Mm, it's nice and vanilla. I'm going to take now my baking pan. This is an 8 inch baking pan and I'm going to put my cake liner in it to avoid it from sticking to the bottom. I'm going to pour my batter in now. I'm going to put now my sponge cake into the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes at 325 degrees Fahrenheit which is around 170 degrees Celsius. Here's the finished vanilla sponge cake. Now I can just flip it under the baking rack. And what you normally do for any of the other recipes, you're gonna slice the vanilla sponge cake into two or three layers. I normally prefer three layers and have two layers of filling in between them. And in my channel, I have plenty of recipes where you can practice your newly acquired skills of making a gluten-free vanilla sponge cake. Like for the royal charlotte cake or the simple charlotte cake or for the Nutella buttercream banana sponge cake. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode and if so, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any other gluten-free deliciousness. And I see you next week. Bye!